lazy again. I've come back from having the Opo Mariva for the weekend and it has been an awesome drive. I've been successfully converted to the Opo brand per se. The studio and the styling of the car was amazing. What I can say is that the car is extremely deceiving because from the outside it seems to be a compact car, it seems to be small, but once you eventually get to see the car for what it is worth, you'll see that it's actually quite large. Flex stores are an impressive feature to the car, so the outside is really, it's impressive in that sense. Comfortable, safe, I uh, was really impressed with the height adjustable seat for the driver side because I'm pretty short. Well, it has a lot of goodies on the steering wheel which make it more convenient for you to not be changing the radio station or changing any sort of thing from the sensor console, you can do that all from your steering wheel, which was impressive. As well as the fact that when your phone rings, it's linked straight through to Bluetooth, which is something that I set up just to see if I can, you know, as a normal user, set up everything myself, which I was able to do. Having to transport five adults and a four-year-old in the vehicle was quite a heavy task, but the vehicle itself was extremely safe, and like I mentioned before, it was comfortable. The number of features that stood out for me, the power steering, the leather steering wheel, the user-friendly gadgets on the steering wheel, the height adjustable seat that I mentioned, the fact that the windscreen was extremely large and the side mirrors were extremely large. The doors, so it made the people getting in and out of the back, it's, it just seemed like a brilliant concept and then the last feature that stood out for me was the parking.